You're listening to a Roddenberry Podcast. Today is Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. It's Earth Day! And this is your daily Star Trek news from the Roddenberry Podcast Network. On today's show, LeVar Burton finally joins the Jeopardy guest host roster. Jonathan Frakes, Armin Shimmerman, and Kitty Swink join the fight against pancreatic cancer for Purple Stride LA. I'm catching you up on some Star Trek history from yesterday, and I've got this week's virtual Star Trek events. I'm Allison Pitt, and today's show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month of counseling by visiting betterhelp.com forward slash DSTN. Okay, so first off, I owe you an apology. For those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, you may have noticed that there wasn't a show yesterday. Uh, That's because I got my first COVID-19 vaccine. Yay! And I was feeling uh, the side effects a little bit. Um, I'm much better now, and I'm ready to keep bringing you the daily Star Trek news. So let's let's go ahead and get on with it. (laughs) Okay, it's cheesy, but uh, here goes. (laughs) By Geordi, he's done it. <laughs> After a monumental effort by fans, LeVar Burton has joined the roster of guest hosts for Jeopardy. Following the death of the show's longtime host Alex Trebek last November, the evening game show has been working through a series of guest hosts one at a time, while they search for a new permanent host. Earlier this month, momentum started to build behind a fan-led Change.org petition asking the show's producers Sony Pictures Television, to consider Star Trek The Next Generation actor Burton for the role. The petition is now approaching 250,000 signatures, and even Burton himself has joined the push, making the case publicly as to why his resume makes him perfect for the job. He told Entertainment Weekly last week, I don't believe there is anyone out there who is better suited for this job than me. I think my whole career is an advertisement for being the host of Jeopardy. Now it seems as though Burton's push and fans' pleas have been heard. Jeopardy! announced on Wednesday that the former Reading Rainbow host would be one of the five remaining guest hosts rounding out season 37. The other hosts announced with Burton were ABC's Good Morning America anchors George Stephanopoulos and Robin Roberts, CNBC's David Faber, and Fox Sports' Joe Buck. Jeopardy! executive producer Mike Richards said of the list... Our goal has been to present a wide variety of guest hosts with different skill sets and backgrounds on our path to finding a permanent host. Our passionate fans are telling us what they like, and we are listening. All of the guest hosts have brought individualism, energy, and an authentic love of our show to each of their episodes. We look forward to sharing the rest of the season with our viewers. In response to the news, Burton tweeted, Thank you to all y'all for your passionate support. I am overjoyed, excited, and eager to be guest hosting Jeopardy, and will do my utmost best to live up to your faith in me. You made a difference. Go ahead and take my word for it this time. LeVar Burton will guest host Jeopardy from July 26th through July 30th. Jeopardy airs on ABC affiliates Monday through Friday or on the ABC app. Check your local listings for times, or you can visit jeopardy.com forward slash watch. Next up, the Star Trek community is rallying together to fight pancreatic cancer in the 2021 Purple Stride Los Angeles event, hosted by the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, or PANCAN. Purple Stride events are held in multiple cities each year to honor the patients and families affected by pancreatic cancer. What would normally be an in-person, energetic gathering is taking place virtually. This year, Star Trek The Next Generation actor Jonathan Frakes Deep Space Nine's Armin Shimmerman and his wife, actor Kitty Swink, are leading a team of fundraisers for the event. Their team is called Trek Against Pancreatic Cancer, and they would love for you to join. From the team's fundraising website. A better world, a brighter future. No disease or suffering. Limitless possibility. Hope. These were all part of Gene Roddenberry's vision of Star Trek. They also run parallel to PanCan's vision to create a world in which every patient with pancreatic cancer will thrive. Let's get the pancreatic cancer survival rate 
way beyond 10%. Let's make it so. Trek Against Pancreatic Cancer has set an ambitious fundraising goal of $50,000, just over 14% of the overall goal of $350,000 for Purple Stride Los Angeles. As of now, they've raised nearly $31,000 towards their goal and are the leading fundraising team for the event. Purple Stride Los Angeles seems to be gaining traction among the Star Trek community. According to the website, a number of names familiar to Star Trek fans have appeared on the donor list, including Gates McFadden, Robert Picardo, Michael Dorn, Terry Farrell, and the Burton family. As an added incentive to donors, Swink, Shimmerman, and Frakes are offering their time in a 30-minute personal Zoom call with the top individual fundraiser on their team. To win, all monies raised must be reflected on your personal fundraising page on this team by Midnight Pacific on May 1st. Purple Stride events are the number one way PanCan raises money to fight pancreatic cancer. Funds raised will go towards programs in scientific research, providing patient services free of charge, government advocacy, and community engagement. To learn more and to join the Trek Against Pancreatic Cancer as a team member and donor, visit pancan.org. Now I've got a little bit of history and the weekend's online events here in just a moment, but first, a word from BetterHelp. If you've been thinking about seeing a mental health counselor, then now is the time to consider BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online counseling service that lets you get the help you need in a way that's convenient for you. When you sign up for BetterHelp, you'll get matched with a licensed professional therapist and start communicating with them in under 48 hours. You can send messages anytime or book a phone or video chat, and you never have to sit in a waiting room. I want you to start living a happier life today. And as a Daily Star Trek news listener, you can get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp by visiting betterhelp.com forward slash DSTN. Join over a million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com forward slash DSTN. And now, since I wasn't here yesterday, we're going to do a yesterday in Star Trek history. So here goes. It was yesterday, April 21st, back in 1947, that the godfather of punk... Iggy Pop was born. 47! (laughs) Okay, so what does that have to do with Star Trek, you might ask? Iggy Pop was a guest star on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. He played the Vorta Yelgren in the DS9 sixth season episode, The Magnificent Ferengi. According to Memory Alpha, producer Iris Stephen Bear had originally wanted him for a part in Past Tense Part 2, but he was unavailable due to his touring schedule. He eventually became available for the role of Yelgren after suffering an injury in a mosh pit. Because of course he did. (laughs) Outside of Star Trek, Iggy Pop is one of punk rock's most recognizable personalities, having performed professionally for over 60 years. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2010 and received a Lifetime Achievement Award Grammy just last year in 2020. And yes, he's still performing at the age of 74. Please join me in wishing a very happy birthday to Iggy Pop, and tune in again next Wednesday for more Star Trek history. Uh, Now moving on to events, and there's not an awful lot of scheduled events this weekend, so instead I'm going to do a reminder of the regular Star Trek stuff that's always going on. If you haven't yet, now is a great time to join up. So first up, it's the Twitter watch-alongs. Hashtag All Star Trek runs Sunday through Friday at 8, 7 central and follows the Heroes and Icons channel's All Star Trek program. Hashtag TOS Sat Night starts at 9 p.m. Pacific time on Saturday night and follows a different episode of the original series every week. And Hashtag Star Trek Hour is a Q&A format event every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Then there's Star Trek Watch Party, hosted daily and coordinated on Facebook. Every evening, they use the Teleparty browser extension to watch Star Trek together. To find out more, head over to Star Trek Watch Party on Facebook. And finally, Sid City Social Club, hosted by Star Trek Deep Space Nine star Alexander Sedig's official fan website, is still going on, but it's changing since Sid is getting geared up to start filming the Apple TV Plus show, Shantaram. 
Starting on May 1st, they'll be moving to a twice-monthly program on the first Tuesday and third Friday of every month, with occasional pop-up meetings with Sid as his schedule allows. For more details about the changes and how you can join in, visit SidCity.net. Now, if you have an online event or a gathering that you'd like for me to promote on the show, then please let me know. How are you getting together with your fellow Trekkies without leaving the house? Well, that's it for today's Daily Star Trek news from the Roddenberry Podcast Network. Don't forget to check out the other great shows on the network at podcasts.roddenberry.com. Daily Star Trek news is produced by me, Allison Pitt, with selected stories by Chris Peterson and events by Marina Kravchuk. Today's show was sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month of counseling at betterhelp.com forward slash DSTN. I'm back tomorrow with more of the Star Trek news you need to know and the answer to this week's Trek trivia. I'm Allison Pitt. Live long and prosper. This is a Roddenberry podcast. For more great podcasts, visit podcast.roddenberry.com.